Hey there creepy peeps and welcome to another stale movie review. Today we are talking about From a Whisper to a Scream. All right, so this movie was requested of me to watch by Josh, AKA JG from NC, one of my patrons. So thank you very much for your request, Josh, and let's get into this. Directed by Jeff Burr, From a Whisper to a Scream is a horror anthology centered around the uncle of a recently executed murderer. A reporter comes to his house and he relates four stories about the town of Oldfield and the evil that has always resided there. So apparently the director, Jeff Burr, went directly to Vincent Price with his script to ask him if he would participate in the project. Although Price accepted at the time, he later said he regretted taking the role, saying that his manager kind of misrepresented the film. But I did also read that Burr said, despite anything he might have felt about the project, he, you know, obviously participated with grace and, you know, civility as, as, Vincent Price would, you know? And this would also be uh, one of Price's last horror roles ever. Like any anthology, this one has its high and low points. Thought the wraparound was a little bit weak, um, not because of Price's performance, actually. Um, I think it would have been better just to have Price as a librarian telling these stories to like a patron of the library or something like that. The whole like lethal injection opening and then like the reporter coming, I mean, to me that was like a little bit eh. Like, and it didn't even really factor into the film for the most part. Like it just gets the reporter there and then like that whole crazy ending. But I feel like that just could have been rewritten without the weird lethal injection opening. Like, I don't know, it just, I don't know. It just didn't like grab me and I wasn't interested in it. In terms of like the actual segments, the carnival like slash freak show one was the weakest for me. Um, the performances just didn't land and like the dialogue was awkward. Although like that big bloody explosion scene at the end or towards the end was pretty cool. The segment that really shined for me though was like the voodoo slash witchcraft one. It felt very Poe who along with HP Lovecraft are referenced in the movie. Like with the whole like twist ending and the fact that the guy like had the secret to living longer the entire time but his like impatience and his greed got in the way and his punishment is brutal. Like the fact that he's just gonna have to like live forever like in that pain in literally as the doctor says hell and it's just like I don't know it just felt very Edgar Allan Poe ending like <laughs> you know brutal irony just brutal brutal irony so I really loved that one I loved the kind of like backwoods almost voodoo-y kind of witchcraft feel to it I also thought the last segment was cool as well it's the um the oldest story the one with the children a few things are creepier than kill our children, um, especially when they take over the town and kill all the adults. But they also act like adults and they talk like adults and it's very, um, it's very unsettling to watch actually. But the performances like, like for them being kids are pretty good. Then we have the creepy serial killer scene, which was okay for me. Like it wasn't awful, but it wasn't great. I felt like it was kind of a lot to shove into a short segment though. Like, like I wouldn't mind seeing that segment as like a longer movie with like a few more kills and things thrown in. Like I just feel like there was a whole lot going on in that segment and they just shoved it into that tiny time frame. <laughs> like, <laughs> so I wasn't like really jazzed about that one, but it was creepy. It was all right. So not the strongest horror anthology that I've ever seen, but not the worst one either. The segments that were good were real good, but the ones that were bad were not so great. Um, plus, you know, it was Vincent Price, so bonus points. Uh, that being said, I'm going to give this a 3.5 out of 5. On IMDb, uh, it has a 5.9 out of 10. On Rotten Tomatoes, it doesn't have a critic score, but audiences give it 35%, which is surprising. Um, on Letterboxd, it has a 3 out of 5. The only way I was able to see this movie was on Vudu uh, for free, so um, <laughs> you can check it out there if you want. Um, if you've already seen From a Whisper to a Scream, let me know in the comments section down below what you thought about it. As always, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new here and become a creepy peep today. I post videos Monday through Friday, and you can ring that notification bell down there to be notified every time I post a video, even though it doesn't always work. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, stay strange. Bye. 
This video is brought to you by all of these awesome Patreon supporters who are listed here on the screen. Thank you guys so much for your support. Um, if you want to find out the perks to being a creepy patron peep, you can follow that link that's in the description box. And if you want to check out more videos, you can click the video that's on the screen right now.